morning boys welcome again to another online class today we are going to start with english first paper of class 7 is our book english for today open unit 5 lesson 4 helen killer part 2 page number 49 and 50 so please open your books to page number 49 At the beginning of the lesson, there are three key words. So, right now we are going to discuss about the words and their meaning. In my previous class, I did give you a little homework to try and get these meanings out. Today, I'm going to discuss elaborately about it. So, let's start with the key words. words and the meanings the first key word is communication communication the meaning of communication i'm going to put it on the board check it out First word meaning in communication is the ability. Actually, एक है ना एक टास्क लिखी है मैंने. Communication, the ability. or process of expressing ideas or feelings or of giving people information the second key word is skills of skills having enough ability or knowledge to do something 
well. Okay, the final keyword is interpret. Meaning to explain the meaning of something. Three verbs and the meanings. I'm repeating again. Number one, communication. The ability or process of expressing ideas and feelings or of giving people information. Keyword number two, skills. Having enough ability or knowledge to do something well. Keyword number three, interpret, to explain the meaning of something. Pick it up. I hope you have already. Right now, I'm going to read out the passage and we'll try to do the press announcement. Open your book. I'm starting reading the passage. Helen Keller started her formal education in 1890. She began to take classes at the Horace Mann School for the Deaf in Boston. From 1894 to 1896, she attended the Wright Humanson School for the Deaf in New York City. There, she worked to improve her communication skills and studied regular academic subjects. Helen gradually made up her mind to attend college in 1896. She attended the Cambridge School for Young Ladies, Massachusetts. Later, she was admitted to Radcliffe College. Here, she learned reading through a special technique called Braille. She also learned here how to type. Annie Sullivan was always with her for help. She sat by her in the class and interpreted lectures and texts. In 1904, Helen received a BA degree with honors from the college. Helen Keller spent the rest of her life trying to make it easier for disabled people to learn. Helen Keller died on June 1st, 1968, a few weeks short of her 88th birthday. So here we see a couple of information given. Firstly, the year she started her formal education, that's uh, 1890. Then, where she began, she made classes at Horace Mann School for the Deaf in Boston. From 1894 to 1896, she attended the White Humanson School for the Deaf in New York City. There she worked to improve her communication skills and studied regular academic subjects. Helen gradually made up her mind to attend college. In 1896, she attended the Cambridge School for Young Ladies, Massachusetts. Later, she was admitted to Rector College, where she learned to read in a special technique called Braille. Braille is a technique used for blind or for deaf people. Okay, a blind also in some cases. Annie Sullivan always helped her out. How? She sat beside Annie and interpreted what the lecturers had to say. In 1904, she received a B honors from that college and she spent the entire the rest of her life trying to better 
the people who are deaf had to better their studies. Okay, 19, and uh, June 1st, 1968, she passed away a couple of weeks before her 88th birthday. This much. Are we clear? Now, I'll go for the question answers. I'll be reading out the questions because the questions are on the book and I'll be writing down the answers just to help you out. Let's go for the question number one. How long did she study at the Wright Humanson School? How long? See in the passage it's clearly written that from 1894 to 1896 she attended the Humanson, uh, Wright Humanson School. That's two years. So how long did she study at Wright Humanson School? She studied at Wright Humanson School for two years. study at a white human school for two years. Question number two. How did Annie help Helen with her studies at Redcliffe College? How? Remember, we read in the passage, she sat beside her interpreting uh, lectures and texts. So, during the class and interpreting all the lectures and classes. She sat beside Annie with whatever the lectures or the classes were being taken, she used to interpret so that Annie could read. Remember? Annie was deaf. She couldn't hear. Annie was blind. She couldn't see. Annie was dumb. She couldn't speak. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, not Annie, Helen. And so Annie helped her out. Okay, by sign language. Now we go for question number three. Question number three is, when did Helen graduate the year? Helen graduated in 1904. She graduated in? 1904, 1904. Last question. How did Helen become famous? How? By working for the disabled people, trying to make it easier for them to learn.
she became famous by spending her entire life trying to make it easier for disabled people to learn. Got all the question answers clear? I hope you're picking it down because I'm going to wipe the board and I'm going to give you the MCQs. So pick it up fast, I'm going to give you about a minute. Go through it clearly. Should I read it once to you again? Okay. I've given you the word meanings, now I'm giving the answers to the questions. Question number one, how long did she study at the Wright Humanson School? Answer, she studied at Wright Humanson School for two years. Question number two, how did Annie help Helen with her studies at Redcliffe College? Annie helped Helen by sitting by her side during class and interpreting all the lectures and classes and texts. Okay. And texts. Okay. A little correction. Question number three. What did Helen, oh sorry, when did Helen graduate? Answer. Helen graduated in 1904. Question number four. How did Helen become famous? Answer. She became famous by spending her entire life trying to make it easier for disabled people to learn. I hope you've got it. Right now, I'll be going for the six MCQs on the book. First question, the Horace Mann <clears throat> the Horace Mann School is for Dash. The options are a. The blind, B. The deaf, and C. The dumb. The correct answer is option B. The deaf. Second, who always helped, helped Helen to learn? Who always helps Helen to learn? As usual, there are three options. Option A, Horace Mann. Option B, Wright Humanson. And option C, Annie Sullivan. So the correct answer is option C. Of 
option C, Annie Sullivan. Now, question three. At Redcliffe College, Helen mastered her, let's see what? Did she master three options? She mastered her option A reading skills, option B speaking skills, or option C listening skills. So the correct, correct answer is option A reading skills. Now, number four, Helen died. Three options. Option A, in her early age. Option B, in her middle age. Option C, in her old age. So in the passage is written, she died couple of weeks before she was 88. That's not early age. I doubt it's middle age, so the correct answer should be in her old age. Option C. Question 5. Helen worked for improving her communication skills. skills. Here, the underlined words mean Option A, expressing ideas and feelings Option B, sending information to telephone, radio, etc. Or option C, developing road and air transport. The correct answer is option A, expressing ideas and feelings. Final question, which sentence gives the correct information according to the text? options. 
option A. Annie taught Helen at Redcliffe College. Option B. Annie explained lectures and texts in the class. Option 3. Annie was not allowed to enter the class. Correct answer. Option B. out all the five question answers once again for you to better understand. Option one, uh, question one, the Horace <coughs> Mann School is for option B, the deaf. Question two, who always helps Helen to learn? Correct answer, option C, Annie Option 3. At Redcliffe College, Helen mastered her. Correct answer. Option A. Reading skills. Question 4. Helen died. Correct answer. Option C. In her old age. Question 5. Helen worked for improving her communication skills. Here the underlined words mean, underlined words communication skills means, correct answer, expressing ideas and feelings. Option A, expressing ideas and feelings. Last Number six, which sentence gives the correct information according to the text? The three sentences, correct option is option B, Annie explained lectures and texts in the class. I hope you've understood the class. Keep following. I'll give you a little homework right now. The homework you have to do is on page 51 an information table of your book the following page lesson 5 the woman the question read the previous lessons from lesson 1 to lesson 4 okay I, there's no electricity on Begum Rokia and Helen Keller and complete the table with information from the text Try to complete the informations. I'm giving, say, two info or three informations. There are eight. I'll give you three, and you try to complete the remainings. Number one, Begum Rokia, born 1880. That's in the book. What you have to do, Helen Killer, it's blank, nothing. What we write, 1880. She was born in 1880 as well. Number two, nationality, Begum Rokia, Bengali. <clears throat> Helen Killer, American. Option 3, family, Begum Rokia, landlord or wealthy family. Helen Keller, not rich, income source, cotton plantation. You got the other uh, one, two, three, five more. Try and do it at home. Hope to see you soon in another class in short time. If you have any queries, you can call me. Uh, many of you have my cell numbers or my cell numbers on the Facebook page. Need any help? Please give me a call. Thank you. Take care. Be safe and study well.